Hey y'all, welcome to Homesteader Monday. I'm Gray Madden from Self Reliance Publishing, and today we're going to talk about how to brew chickens without utilizing any electricity, propane, natural gas, or any other utilities. The easiest way to go about this would be to use a broody hen and let the hen give the chicks the warmth that they need. This would be closely mimicking what happens in nature. But I don't have that luxury. I'm just getting my rack and hoop up and going or my combination housing for rabbits and chickens. And I currently don't have any animals. So I'm starting from scratch, but I still wanna go about it as so sufficiently as possible and use as few outside inputs as possible. What I have in front of me is called a fireless brooder. And it's actually an idea that I got from a book that I just finished editing called An Old Time Guide to Raising Chickens, which is a compilation of 11 different pamphlets published by different governmental organizations from the early to mid 20th century. And in that book, they talk about uh, different natural and artificial ways of brooding chickens. This would technically be considered an artificial means of brooding chickens because it doesn't utilize a hen, but it is a way of brooding chickens without utilizing any utilities. It's simply a box, a small box. This one's 20 inches by 20 inches inside dimensions, and it contains the body heat of the chicks. And to use it properly, you have to have a certain number of chicks. For fireless breeders, I've heard their good no numbers being anywhere from 12 to 50 chicks with about 25 being a ideal number. And that works out perfectly be for me because that's the number of chicks I was planning to sort with anyways. So the way it works is the box just contains the body heat of the chicks and that provides them the warm temperature that they need. I made this one out of one by eights. Um, it's just one by eights, it's a box that I made. Again, 20 inches square inside dimensions. It's got this four by four hole that I cut in the front of it uh, as an entrance and means of egress for the chicks. And it's got this tray in it that is removable. And the tray is sized so that there is a quarter inch space going all the way around the box to provide the chicks ventilation. The idea of the tray is that you can pile insulation on top of it. And you're gonna start with more insulation for the first week, and then every week you're gonna take a little off, little by little. I guess as the chicks grow, they provide more body heat, and they also need less in the way of uh, extra heat given to them because they've got more feathers and they're able to keep themselves warmer better. Um, so every week you take a little bit of insulation off until you no longer need the brooder. It's a very simple device. I haven't used one before, but I'm looking forward to using it. I'm hoping to get some chicks in this coming week. So I definitely keep y'all updated on how it works. Uh, like I said, I just finished editing this book called An Old Time Guide to Raising Chickens. And I, I believe that it provides a lot of useful information for to people who are interested in raising chickens. Whether you're just getting started and know nothing about chickens, or if you've been doing it a long time and you're looking to learn uh, little interesting things here and there. I've been raising chickens for years and it gave me the idea to do this. And this is exactly what I'm looking for. Ways to raise chickens uh, for meat and eggs as self-sufficiently as possible with as few outside resources as possible. And that's what I've geared this book towards. I've tried to pick material that will provide that information for you. So I think it will be, it's been beneficial to me researching it and putting it together and I think it will be beneficial to you as well. So as soon as I finish editing my website, that will be available for download for $10. Uh, as always, I appreciate every like, every comment, and every subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.